Welcome to my channel. My name's Jared. This is another Sunday update video. I also post silent build videos on Wednesdays, so be sure to check those out as well. Today, we're going to talk about some upcoming projects, and then at the end of this video, we're going to take Walter for his first ride in the Model T, so be sure to stay tuned to the end. Uh, so the Model T, real quick, it's not in here because it doesn't fit. It's too tall. It won't fit in the garage. Um, but basically, the Model T is pretty much done. Uh, I will do a few more videos on it, but not not um, build videos. Uh, I plan on taking it to like a car show, and there may be some other driving videos. But basically, the car is done. It's running and driving. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm trying to learn to drive it better. It's a very interesting thing. It's definitely unlike driving anything I've ever driven before. Uh, but so, so basically that's pretty much it for the Model T. Uh, if you saw the last video, you would have seen the drive video for that. And I really liked the way that came out. You know, I, I wore like 1920s attire. I did some of the video in black and white. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Um, there will be this next Wednesday, there will be the final build video or the summary video of the build. So it will summarize the entire 18-part uh, build series in that one video. It's not a very long video. I think it's less than eight minutes long. Uh, but it's kind of a nice way to remember where it started from. Because, you know, after the seven months that I've been working on it, it's easy to forget what it actually looked like in the beginning. So that one video will summarize that entire build. So that will be coming out next Wednesday. And then after that, we're going to be moving on to new projects. So one thing is the Honda. Um, if you guys haven't seen this build video or this build series, you should definitely check it out. I love this car. It's an amazing car. I mentioned in the past I was going to do the oil change and drive video. So that's why it's in the garage. I actually did a lot more than that. Um, I've also mentioned much farther back in the past that I needed to pull the engine back out of it because the throwout bearing, I knew when I put the throwout bearing in that it wasn't in great shape, but I wasn't able to get a new one and I didn't want to wait months to get the car on the road. So I put it together as it was, always knowing that I would have to replace that bearing at some point. And it was fine. It made a little bit of noise, but it wasn't, it hadn't gone out or anything. But anyway, I, I knew I needed to do that. I also, there was, um, a coolant leak directly above the exhaust header. So it was a very minor leak, but it would drip right onto the exhaust and you could smell the coolant, but you couldn't get to that plate with the engine in the car because it's such a tight fit. So I pulled the engine, I replaced that seal, I put in the new throwout bearing. Um, I also did a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I originally wasn't able to get the rear brake hoses that I needed, so I used some generic motorcycle brake hoses for the time, um, but since then I would got those hoses, so I replaced the rear brake hoses, the throwout bearing, fixed some leaks, so I did a lot of work on the car that I didn't film, um, just kind of stuff in the background, and then I filmed the oil change uh, portion of that, and then a drive video, and th the drive video is amazing, it's like one of my favorite things that I've ever made. Um, it's going to come out, I guess about two weeks from now is when that video will be out, um, but it's awesome. The, um, I, I'm in California and the Long Beach uh, Grand Prix course is is driven on city streets. They block off part of the city of Long Beach and that's the race course. So some of those corners you have access to all the time because they're public streets. And the start and finish line is on a public street. So I was able to go and actually run the car on a portion of that course, which was just awesome. People always compare this engine to the sound of an Indy car because of the way this thing revs so high. So it was very fitting. So I'm looking forward to you guys seeing that video. I've already watched it myself like 20 times. I can't stop uh, watching it. Anyway, that'll be out in two weeks. Um, but then we are moving on to the 356 and the Land Cruiser. So during that time period when the summary video for the Model T and then the drive video for the Honda and there may even be another video for the Beetle because I've also finished that up in this little time period I had. So now that I'm not constantly working every day on the Model T, I'm able to finish up a few things in the background. Like I, I'm going to do the welding on the, the tub here for the Land Cruiser and I've ordered parts for the 356. So while you guys are watching those videos that I've already prepared, I'm going to be still working hard in the background here on things that aren't being filmed to get this tub ready to be painted. You can see I've got the Raptor liner here. So I've got to figure out how to tint that. Um, and I'm 
I'm probably just going to paint the bottom of it with a tinted Raptor liner. And then depending on how that comes out, I may paint the inside tinted or I may use a, a gray Raptor liner on the inside just because that would be easier in the future to touch up if you needed to just respray part of it. And also the interior is going to be gray. So anyway, um, I'm going to be working on that. And also the 356. The I've got some more engine parts on the way. I've ordered the pistons and cylinders and the new uh, camshaft. And I'm going to pull in the engine very soon. Once I get the engine out, then I'll find out what the condition is of the crank and what size bearings I need. And then I can start sending the heads off to be rebuilt. And I can find out if I have the correct flywheel and all those things that I need to start to order and start to have machined. I can get that process started. Because uh, I do want to get this engine rebuilt and get this car back on the road very soon. So, now that the Model T is basically done, we're going to be moving on to the 356 and the Land Cruiser. But like I said, in the meantime, you are going to see a few other videos. You'll see the drive video for this, which you guys are going to love it, I think. I love it. And then there may be uh, a summary video for the Beetle. And I may actually even be listing the Beetle for sale soon. We'll see. Um, but so, lots of new stuff coming to the channel. Kind of an end for the Model T, which was a really cool build. But the car is still around. I'm not going to sell it anytime soon. I'm going to be driving it around and enjoying it. So there will be more of that to come. And so now we're going to go to the drive video uh, that I did with Walter. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Thanks for watching and see you next time.